Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today I'll be showing you a very simple, <laughs> I feel like that's my word, simple, a very simple and very tasty um, summer vegetable coconut curry inspired by all these summer vegetables. Oh, and just to be specific, the summer vegetables I'm talking about here, um, according to South Africa, are our butternut squash, our zucchini, our peppers, our sweet potato, and our tomatoes. And then we're also going to be adding in our aromatics, which are onions and garlic, and um, a thumb of ginger, and also some of this, not some, the whole <laughs> of this jalapeno for some spiciness, because you know how I do. Um, and the carrot is not necessarily a summer vegetable, it's a winter vegetable, but we had it, it needed to be used up, so here we are again using our vegetables that are in our fridge. Um, so yeah, if you're interested to watch this video and you just want to know how to make a very simple chickpea coconut curry with your vegetables in the fridge, then give this a look. You do not necessarily have to have all these vegetables on hand. You could just have a sweet potato and make it a sweet potato and chickpea coconut curry, you know? Um, the star of our dish, it's not necessarily the star really, is it? Is it? Anyway, I'm going to be using some coconut cream. I just feel like the flavor of the coconut is more intense with the cream. And I really, really love coconut cream. And also, we had this and I was wondering what I could do with it. So I might as well just use it. I won't be using the whole tin though, I don't think. I think I'll be using half a tin. And then I'm going to save the other half for some sort of baked good that I'll be making one day. <laughs> anyway, and if you're interested in the video, then keep watching and if not then keep watching so first i am gonna cut up the onion because that's what we're going to be cooking up first just to be the nice sweet base of our um curry caramelizing the onion really makes a difference than just adding it all in with the other vegetables it really adds a nice sweet hint you know and that that nice caramelized onion it's, it's delicious really um so to remove skin of the garlic is to smash it with your knife against the board or against whatever it is you're cutting on top of and that helps to you know release the garlic from the whole of the skin it helps to release it from prison putting in a teaspoon of cumin seeds to temper them. For those of you that don't know what tempering is, it's basically heating your spices um, for a while before you add in the rest of your vegetables. This helps to really um, sharpen the flavor of the cumin seeds or whatever it is that you're tempering, whatever spices you're tempering. I'm just gonna let them temper in a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we'll start popping and crack a lacking. Then we're gonna add in the rest of the vegetables. Now I'm going to add in the onions so they can caramelize with the ginger. After the onions have sweated down a little bit and as you can see the pan is a little bit brown because the onions are brown, we're going to add some water to deglaze the pan. In the meantime, we're just gonna cut up our vegetables while the onions are doing their thing. I showed you guys this trick the last time. I'm going to be keeping 
in the seeds because I want it a little bit more spicier. Um, so if you want to control the amount of heat that's in here, then you can just remove the seeds so that it's not too spicy. But a jalapeno pepper honestly is nothing for me. Now we're gonna transfer our vegetables to our pan. In one tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm using this curry paste just by the way because it's very easy to use and honestly in times like this when I'm too lazy to make up my own combination of spices, this is a very easy way to make a delicious curry. So I'm going to be using one teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Plus minus two cans of tomato crushed um, worth of tomato. <laughs> I'm just gonna be adding that in. I also added in about a teaspoon of raja powder. Um, I don't usually use it, but I read the ingredients and it says vegan friendly. So I added it in. See, vegan friendly. And honestly, it's not that bad. It's not too bad. I just want to add more power because i don't know um yeah i just had that intuition that maybe i should add a bit of curry powder as well and not just the curry paste we're gonna add in our jalapenos as well because we do want them to cook a bit and then we'll close it for 30 minutes to cook and bubble away now starting to reduce nicely mm -hmm. our sweet potato and butternut are thoroughly cooked now we're gonna add in the vegetables that we hadn't added in in the beginning um, I also decided to add in a teaspoon of mixed herbs. I just forgot to add that. Um, um, it wasn't really part of the plan. I just saw them and I was like, huh, mixed herbs. So I added in just a teaspoon of those just to add a nice natural herby flavor. I love herbs, so um, I, I usually add them when I do see them. So I added in a teaspoon and then we're just gonna And our chickpeas these are rinsed and drained I'm using this brand because it's cheaper but if you want you can you know just live your life basically is the message I'm trying to spread throughout all my videos live your life um, but I'm using this brand and just one tin of chickpeas I just drained them I am just gonna taste for salt and season it at this stage because I'm sure it's it's time our chickpeas don't really have to cook and our zucchini just just doesn't really need that much maybe two to three minutes in here so I'm add a little bit of our pink Himalayan salt just a pinch I'm just gonna let it simmer with the lid off since all our veggies are cooked now well, except our zucchini which doesn't really need that much tender loving care in terms of heat so yeah I'm just gonna let that cook with the lid off and then we'll be done and ready to serve Here I just have half a cup of cooked white rice with some a bit of greens 
and that's where I'm gonna serve my curry on top of. Oh, this looks so delicious and it smells divine too. Obviously, I could have added in the greens in the curry itself and let them wilt down. But honestly, I wanted to have it like this. So, um, just whatever way you have your greens, as long as you have them. Basically, that's, that's where I'm going with this conversation.